Doug again. We're going to be reviewing the Satac Eclipse Illuminated Keyboard. Throw that over there. <laughs> and this Microsoft Sidewind Sidewinder X5 mouse. Okay. So. It's a really nice keyboard. I've been using it probably good year. I bought it off eBay for like 30, 20, like 30 bucks, brand new, of buy.com. And I really, really wouldn't get the Satec Eclipse 2 because the keys, they're black and you can't see them in the, when, when, the, when the light turns on. You can't see the keys as well. So, here's a picture of it. It's a nice keyboard. And it has a adjustable armrest, you can move, like move it in and out. And like they're quiet keys, you can't really hear yourself like you know typing. Or has volume controls, mute, up and down volume, and the light it goes high, low, and then off. Okay, let's plug it in, and have a look. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's on high right now, and then low. Off. I low up. It's a nice keyboard. Yeah, let's take a look at the sidewinder mouse. My laptop right here. You can see, that's not the laser, that's just the cool accent. The light would. It's pretty sweet. You get your DPI settings. You can change it anywhere from 2,000 to all the way down to 200. So I have it set on 1,600, 18. I mean 800 and 400. Because you know if you go into game, the sensitivity is like really, really high. Or if you want to change it during gameplay, I, it's really, really helpful. Instead of going into the options and like you know like screwing it all up, you get your back and forward on your browser, and you have changeable mouse feet. But the guy I bought it from freaking glued it on, so I can't undo it. And um, there's a weight tray that pops out. He glued that shut too. <laughs> and you know, a really, really wide scroll bar. It's a nice mouse. It's really comfortable. Like when I first got it, I thought it was, thought it wasn't that great, but then you really, really get used to it. It fits your hand. Per fits hand uh, anywhere from small to large hands. And this this little I don't know if you can see it, it's like a little XP logo or a HP logo. And if you click that, it will bring up your games folder. So that's helpful too. And another thing is macros. You can like set set motions in the game, like you press the macro button, then you press any button on the mouse and then when you when you uh, if you press the first button that you press, it'll play that series of motions or movements or whatever. And it has a uh, LCD screen right here. So when you change your DPI, it'll light up 1600, 800, or 400 or whatever in between. And when you get the mouse, you should just go to Google and type in Microsoft Intelli Pro 6.1. So or Intelli Type Pro because you need that software to use the mouse. Well, you don't have to get it, but in order to change the DPI settings, you have to. Um, hang on one second. here for a minute there's the software you you can change the buttons right here and the sensitivity you click sensitivity and for button one hang on one second for button for the first button you can um, change it I have it set to 1600 800 and 400 and the activities
it's a really nice mouse. So, I would, I would personally suggest it to anybody. You can pick it up for probably 70, 70, 80 bucks at Best Buy and stuff. And if you just want to spend the extra like $20 and get the Logitech G9, I would really do that. Because that mouse is insane. It has a maximum, G9X has a maximum DPI of 5,000. And that's it for today. Thank you.